everyone. This week is all about integrating AI tools into the learning experience and the learning design process. And as instructional designers, teachers, instructors of any kind, much of our work centers around knowing who our learner is, their needs, and how we can create meaningful learning experiences for them. And AI can really be an invaluable tool as you're going through this process um, of creating these experiences as well. And it can be a really great tool for you uh, to make your workload easier, to make the design process easier, and to hopefully automate or take care of some of those tasks that um, take a lot of time. So um, I'm here this week to go through some of the ways that we can um, utilize AI and leverage it and I hope that it is all helpful for you as well. Um, it can be really invaluable to use AI during the design process for sure, and we will cover some of the ways that you can do that, but it can also be an invaluable tool to actually put within the content for learners to utilize. And uh, there are several specific ways that you can do this. Um, definitely, you can ask learners to interact with the tool, you can ask them to consider ethical perspectives or uh, so forth, but you can also use certain AI tools for things like productivity, um, grammar and writing, and you can um, even ask students to use them as things like study buddies or as um, potentially some someone to interview. Uh, you can actually train the tool to serve the need that you have. So um, we're going to dive into that. I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Kenna Miller, and I'm a senior instructional designer here at LAPU. I've worked with a variety of different tools and technologies in my time here, and more recently, I've worked with AI tools uh, during the design process and from a student perspective as well. Much of my curiosity comes from um, how I can use and leverage tools to create the personalized learning that we as IDs or as students um, really want and how we can train our tools to serve our, uh, the purpose that we want. Um, the good thing is that AI is generative, meaning that it is always learning from every input it gets. So think of every time you type something into AI, um, it learns from it. And one thing that I encourage you to do throughout this course and specifically throughout this week, as you engage with the AI tools, tell the AI tool how it's doing. If it doesn't give you what you're looking for or um, you want it to change uh, a little bit what it is giving you, you can definitely tell the tool that and it will regenerate, which is so, so cool. Um, but if, you, if that's not a practice that you already have, I highly encourage you to uh, do that. And I wanted to share one example of how I've implemented AI into um, my course projects or, um, or is when I was working in a consumer management course for our digital marketing program, we actually built a discussion where we asked students to interact with a chat bot as if they were a customer and then reflect on their experience and um, answer things like, uh, was my question answered? Did it make sense? Did I have to be forwarded to a human or was the tool able to answer my question? Um, and things like that. So uh, there really are so many use cases for AI tools, um, you know, on the back end, more in the design process, but also where we can give our students the opportunity to engage with these tools and develop these skills. Because I'm sure we can all agree as AI becomes more widespread and popular, it is going to be a skill that is necessary in the workforce, and it is our job to set up our students with the best skills um, that we can give them so that they are successful when they get to the workforce. Um, I did want to take a minute to encourage you to make a prediction about what you think you're going to learn this week. Uh, there are no right or wrong answers, but think about um, what you might learn and what you want to learn. Um, and as you make this prediction, you're getting your brain ready to make more connections to between your new knowledge and your previous knowledge. All right, so spend a few minutes reflecting, and I'll see you in our next video.